All right, welcome to another tutorial in Maya, and this time we're going to be taking a look at logos and how to create logos from Illustrator files. Um, this is probably one of the coolest things Maya can help you with, um, is to build um, quick 3D logos. Um, if you have an Illustrator file to work with to start, great. And um, this is kind of what I did. I, I took a whole bunch of logos from the um, brandsoftheworld.com. I work with a lot of a lot of logos, so I have a lot of these in stock. So what I did is just uh, basically opened up these um, Illustrator files in um, Maya and created these 3D versions of their logo. So basically the logos already exist at that brandsoftheworld.com. And um, this is basically a composition of a lot of musical manufacturers logos. So that's an animated camera and this is kind of what we're going to be working on so let's get started I'm going to pause that and let's actually just create a new um, let's just uh, create a new scene so we'll just open open a new scene so we'll go to open scene and I'll um, I'll save my changes I made on that one and now we have a new scene and um, to get started get a little bit better mood let's come up to the window and let's change the color of our background as we're seeing it. So let's come down here to um, to our uh, settings and preferences and come down here to your color settings. And in the color settings, we're going to change the 3D view. And that's our background right here. So let's just change this color to maybe something dark, like, like eh, let's just go black. OK, and I'll accept that and we'll save that. So now we have a starting point for our scene. Let's try and import a quick um, file, an Illustrator file. Uh, it could be a .ai file or um, a um, .eps. So let's go to File and Import. And in this case, I'm going to import a, um, a logo from right here. We'll, we'll import this keydesign.eps. So I'm going to click on that and hit Import. OK. Well, it didn't show up anywhere. I'm going to scroll out, and you can see where it, it, it's not there. And that might be the first problem you encounter that will drive you crazy with Maya and Illustrator. So let's see how we can fix that. Um, basically, Maya just didn't recognize that .eps file as being something that it wanted to, um, that it wanted to import. So we'll fix that, um, and it's real easy to do. So let's, for the moment, um, come to Maya, and let's just hide it. And or let's see here. Let's actually let's um let's click on Illustrator. Okay. Now that um, logo that I was trying to import into Illustrator was called Key Design, and it's a .eps file. And it didn't want to some somehow it did, Maya didn't want to import this file. So a lot of the times, what you may have to do with a file like this is we're going to have to do a file and a file save as. And let's put this key design and let's create a couple of different Illustrator files. We're going to call this one key design and we're going to go like with Illustrator 8. So I'll just put 8 right there. And what I want to do is I'll, I'll save this back to my, my, original, uh, my original desktop file folder um, for our logos. And let's just save it in there. It's going to be called key design 8. And we're going to change this to an Illustrator file. Okay, so we're going to change it from a .eps to an Illustrator file. And what I'll do is hit save. And up here you can see I'm on um, Illustrator CS4 at the moment. So what we really want to do is come down here and we're going to save it as an Illustrator 8. That's version 8 Illustrator. And sometimes Maya likes these formats better than is some of the newer formats. Um, I, I don't really understand why, but it just does. So <laughs> we'll save it as an eight. Let's also do a file. And we're also gonna save this again as basically we're gonna save this as number nine. So I'm gonna save this as a version nine. Okay, .ai file. And we'll go ahead and hit save. And switch our version from the CS4 version to an Illustrator 9 version. And you may get some of these warnings down here, um, but they really don't make much difference. Um, what we want to do is create that Illustrator 9 and we'll save it in the older format. That's okay. All right, so let's do one more 
and we're going to do this one file save as and this time we're going to do a 10 and that'll be a dot ai dot ai save and we're going to switch again from cs4 to illustrator 10 and don't worry about all of the warnings and we'll hit ok and we'll hit ok so now if we go back into maya let's get back into maya and we'll try importing that again we'll go to file import and this time you'll notice where they're there i can't choose them right here because what we have to do is we have to enable those files first right now we have dot eps files enabled so let's just move up and let's put that one at a uh, adobe illustrator dot ai file and now you see i can choose all of these files so let's start with um key design uh number eight and let's import that and see okay well there it, it is um you can see it on see it on the grid down there let's just zoom in here a little bit and there it is i can also go to the choose tool maybe click on one of these and hit the front view and then maybe scroll back a little bit that takes us right in there so so we see now we have a couple of different elements so the version 8 did work so let's see if version 9 works as well i'm going to go ahead and select the whole thing and i'm just going to delete it and what i want to do is is come in here again at to file import and this time we'll switch this back to ai and we'll choose version 9 and we'll import that okay uh, you'll notice it says error reading file version 9 it doesn't like okay so we couldn't import that illustrator version 9 let's do the same thing with number 10 and see if number 10 comes in here we may have to switch this back down here to the illustrator file we'll pick number 10 and we'll import that and it does seem like it didn't give us an error it did say it's in here somewhere but I don't really see it. So you could always go to your outliner and take a look and see what's happening in the outliner. And in this case, I usually keep my outliner down here. Sometimes we'll have to look. It does have some transform nodes right here, here, and here, um, but we don't really have that shape. Um, so it didn't like that version nine. So it looks like version eight is the one that it likes. So we'll go with version 8. I'm going to delete all of these transform nodes right now in my outliner. I'm going to minimize that. And we're going to come back here to File, Import. And we're going to import that number 8 again and see what happens. So we'll go to Adobe Illustrator, grab that number 8, and do an import. And there it is. Okay, so that's one of the most common problems you'll, you'll have um, with Illustrator files. And it's a good idea to sort of, um, you know, uh, be aware of that and just know that you're going to have to have Illustrator to convert them. So there you go. I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And now we're going to get started on, on doing a quick um, extrusion in Bevel with another type, of, um, another type of Illustrator file. So let's come here to File. We're going to do an Import. And this time we're going to import the uh, Maya EPS. I, I found that one on the site, Brands of the World. So I'm going to go import that. And I don't see it, and there it is, sitting right down there. So if I hit my front view and come in, and as you can see, it has some strange stuff going on with it. It has some of the other um, properties that were in that um, Illustrator file. So for the moment, um, I'm going to start selecting some of these, and we'll just hit Delete. Okay, because we're not necessarily going to need these portions of the um, of the curve. So I'm going to hit delete and let's click on this. So that's a delete. All right, so we'll delete some of those and let's come back to our window and we'll come down to the uh, to the settings and preferences and go to the color settings again. And I'm finding it a little hard to work with this uh, being dark like that. So we'll just lighten this up. Okay and we'll hit save so let's choose with our choose tool some of these other elements and see if we can get them out of there so i just grabbed those and i'll grab now grab that one 
Uh, we'll take the little trademarky thing out for the moment and maybe grab this last one. Okay, so now you can see where we have one continuous Maya extrusion or, or curve, basic starting curve that we're going to extrude. Um, we'll take a look around there and you can see where it's just basically an outline of the text. Okay, so let's do this quickly. Let's grab, since we've, we've got this, um, we can see in the outliner that it is basically there, our transport uh, and curve. So I don't really need these right here because these were from our last attempts. I'm going to get rid of those. And I'm going to click on that. And you can see where that is, is highlighted. And now we're ready to go on and, and make an extrusion with the Bevel Plus tool. So let's come over here and make sure you're set on surfaces in your menu set up here. So now that we have surfaces, we have some choices to make. I'm going to minimize the outliner and come up here into surfaces. And we're going to do a Bevel Plus. So I'm going to click on that Bevel Plus. And usually it'll bring you up to the starting point of um, default settings, but a good idea to get in the habit of is to just hit reset settings. Okay, so we'll reset the settings, and there we go. And this will tell you the bevel width, the bevel depth, and a little bit about how far it's going to be extruded, and that we're creating a bevel at both the start and at the end, and that our style is basically just a simple straight out style, and that our back is the same as the outer style so or the inner bevel all right so let's just hit bevel all right as you can see it made a, a 3d object of that i'm going to go ahead and click on i'm going to go ahead and click on my wireframe and and sh and see what see what it looks like so i'll zoom in a little bit there as you can see it looks pretty good but we do have a couple of problems um down here, um, it's starting to poke into the mesh. Um, the extrusion is a little bit wide. So what we're going to want to do now is, because we have this chosen, let's come over here and look at this little drop-down menu. OK, and that is going to tell you all the things that are available in this scene. And what we're concerned with is the bevel plus one. That's the first bevel that we placed on everything when we started. So now we can independently control some of this stuff, and we're going to take a look at it. I'm going to spin around a little bit here so we can see this edge right here. And what I'm going to do is just bring, bring that bevel down a little bit. OK. And the depth of the bevel, let's bring that down a little bit. And let's give it a little bit more extrusion. And if we hit the front button right there, that takes us to the front. And now you can see we have a real nice bevel and we have lots of options to work with um, when you're creating those. So go ahead and fool around with those a little bit. And when you find something you like, let's just say I like that, then the best thing to do is look in the outliner down here. And you can see where we have that transform node and that curve. But now we also we have a bevel polygon. So when you're... Um, we, if you get it to a point that you like here, we're going to delete this curve and the transform node. So what I want to do is let's turn that a little bit and let's move our object away. And you can see where there's the curve. I'm going to go ahead and select that. I'm just going to basically select the whole thing and I'm going to hit delete. But before we do, let's just look at what happens in the outliner. You can see where that's what I have selected. And if I hit delete, it goes away. Now, the transform node is still there. So I'm going to click on that. And I'm just going to get rid of that. And there we have it. We have our bevel polygon. Now, what we want to do is come up here. And we're going to edit. And we're going to delete. We're going to delete all by type or delete by type um, the history. And that deletes the history of this node basically up to this point. So now we can only work with this by scaling it or rotating it. I'm going to go ahead and do that just to give you an idea. And you can bring that out. You could maybe make it a little bit more that way. So anyway, you get the idea. So there's the tutorial. Play around with those concepts and we'll see you for the next one. Thanks and have a great one.